Hello students. Welcome to another say so called lecture and we are going to study in today's lecture the the term that is poetic drama. As we have seen there are two terms that are included in this. One is poetic and another one is drama. As we have seen the thing, the meaning or if we try to interpret the drama is presented in the poetry form and that is the poetic drama. The term is or to be derived see and defined in such a way. If we go through the suppose the interpretation of these two terms we will come to know that the form of composition designed for the performance in the theater in which the actor takes the roles of the characters perform indicated action and utter written dialogues. So the the form of the play that is to be performed in the theater by which the characters or the actor takes the role that are designed to them to play in the drama and perform the indicated action and also to write uh, to utter the written dialogues so we have this as the drama. The poetic stands for in the verse form. The dialogue is written in the verse form and it stands for the poetic verse. As we have seen all these features that we see in some of the some of the dramas in ancient times drama and poetry were more or less are used uh, in the same way see as we have seen um, there are some of the poet, uh, drama or poetry by the dramatist like Achilles, Sophocles, Euripides of Greece and Kalidasa of India has also written about this means his dramas are in the form of in the form of poetry so poetry has always been considered as a suitable mode for the expression of the spiritual truths so that is what we have seen in vedas and upanishads language of poetry is used because as uh, we believe poetry is an emotive language and language is used to express the emotions so emotions can be best expressed in the poetic language and that is what the language of drama and if the language is used in the poetic drama in the poetic fashion emotive language then it is more suitable and that is what poetry has always been considered one of the most and natural mode of expression in a realistic drama the prose has been employed as the vehicle of serious thought and there is some justice that we always need to take into account when we study the problem plays there are other uh, realistic uh, plays that are also used and for this purpose uh, prose is said to be the proper medium but poetry as we see is a proper vehicle to delve into the springs of life and prose it is in its imitation to the uh, outermost reality so poetry is naturally conceived to be the inner say 
the innermost reality because through poetry the deep emotional expression that comes to the fore and that is what it is one of the natural medium of expression in the form of a dialogues so we have to see all these things in the present context as we have seen there are french plays and dialogues that are uh, uttered in the 12th syllable and alexandrine and then at the same time there are some heroic dramas in which the heroic couplet has been used and the lines are written by the dramatist in the iambic pentameter form so towards the end of the victorian era there was the growth of growth of realism the use of realism literature turns out to the common place lives of the people this new literary genre uh, known as we have seen in the later part of the century as a rise of problem plays and we have seen in the very last uh, years of the 19th century hendrik ibsen who wrote these uh, some domestic problems his doll's house hendrik ibsen has uh, written a doll's house it's a very good uh, drama by hendrik ibsen it's also a problem play bun and shaw john galsworthy granville barker wrote such a type of realistic and problem plays because they posed some of the social and some of the domestic problems that we see so drama in these hands of the dramatist it's top as an emotional uh, presentation and it becomes a kind of a social uh, criticism now it is the dramatist that we have seen in the later so called or decade t s eliot who tries to revive these dramas this type of drama and he was a pioneer to revive the interest in the poetry poetic plays he stated that a poetic drama is a permanent in human nature and that is what to advocate his point he wrote number of essays in favor of poetic drama in one of his essay he declared that the prose play is a kind of an uh, abstraction it is taking away okay and only um, a small part that the theater can give but verse play means poetic play is definitely is able to give much more intense and exciting uh, uh, feeling and it is very useful in understanding the plot in the theater parlance and that is what he is very much famous as a poetic dramatist there are so, uh, some other critics and uh, evaluator who evaluated his contribution and the poetic plays which t s eliot wrote in the earlier part of the century till the so called 1930s he wrote murder in cathedral family reunion cocktail party confidential clerk elder statesman these are some of the famous dramatis uh, dramas that he wrote and he achieved a bit of success in the murder in the cathedral because there were some kind of a prejudices against the poetic drama the spiritual note that uh, that that was ringing this play and poetic choruses and the use of mystical words this made the poetic drama bit up difficult but there is an intensity there is a poetic inspiration 
and at the same time uh, these dramas achieved a great success on the theater parlance and that is what T.S. Eliot is very well known as the poetic dramatist. He not just revived but he could give the life blood. He make uh, the lively poetic dramas. Okay. Jivan Sadrusya. Kima jecha madhe khup energy hai. Khup jivan bhar lela. Asa te natka madhe pahala veta. Ideas astil. Ja khup abstract zari asle tali main ideas astil. Ja natka cha sandarbat khup mahatwa cha astil. Ya Eliot azon tiyan bhakti madhe aapla lasa bhagala milel. Ka Eliot ha imagist poet hai. Concrete images ta vapar karna ra hai. That's why it's a metaphysical poet. And it's a metaphysical poetry and concrete or imagist poetry. So, both of us are going to be a poet and a poet. And so, we are going to be a poet in the images of metaphysical poetry. We are going to be a poet in the image of metaphysical poetry. This talent reflects on the talent. And even if there are some shortcomings, then T.S. Eliot is a big dramatist. He 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 is a big dramatist. And he is a big dramatist. He is a big dramatist. He is a big dramatist. एक पोएटिक ड्रामेटिस्ट मरो उन उदया साले ला टीएस एलियट अपने ला पाला बने त्याचो जास्ता सक्सेस ही मर्डर इन कैथेड्रल में दे पाला बैठा त्याचो सक्सेस मिला लो ते पुरे जो उन तला फैमिली रीयूनियन लेने आ सटी प्रेरणा दे ठहलो सी फैमिली रीयूनियन तरे 1939 में दे पब्लिश किया अनि मरो उन ह कंटेम्पररी जे लोग भाषा घेन तेने नाटक लिखले सो मे प्रत्येक व्यक्ति लाठिका चांगल पद्धति ने लिखाण कस कर चांगल पद्धति ने मांडनी कसी कराएगी तलाठिकाने शिका मिला सक्सेस मिला कॉकटेल पार्टी हे दह वर्षाने फैमिली रियूनियन नंतर तैने ली लो तो सब अगर इतना तो है एक सरल और स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड ऐसा ही नाटक है मानिए बोलो उन कमीत कमी इमेजरी अनेक कमीत कमी ऐसा इवेंट्स ऐसा असली ले ही नाटक अपने लिए पहला मिलता there is no symbolism in the play the language of the poem is homely playfully okay कई स्टेटमेंट्स हैं ते कॉन्शियस हैं लुसिड स्टेटमेंट्स हैं अनेक बोलूँ ही एक छान पद्धति जी कॉमेडी असली ले नाटक तो कॉकटेल पार्टी ही पायला में तो कहीं लोग का ना ते नाटक है सीकनिंग कि वहाँ डिप्रेसिंग अशा पद्धति जी तारीक कहीं इनेबिलिटी संग ना रहा है but it is also one of the drama see so as we have seen all these features that we see in in this particular so-called work of art. See, as we have seen the, the poetic dramas and these poetic dramas that we see in, in this way. Okay. Again, there is another confidential clerk. This is a, so one of the famous play by him it's pessimistic and depressing play but it is too much uh, in respect to the flesh and blood as as we have seen the machine is set in motion and he continuously goes on writing this the the play doesn't have any kind of a so-called um, an imposing theme it doesn't deal with uh, matters relating to life or death but it makes it get, it is writing about a choice that is to be made and what the uh, hero needs to do because 
uh, Sir Claude Mulhammer is one of the character, and he wished to become something, the first red potter in the city. And that is what we have seen. He appoints a confidential clerk. And he appoints his own son, Colby, as his son. So, the boy is not satisfied with the job. So, he um, faces favor of going to church and making his own career in the church. So, his choice is for the job of a musician. Let's see. So, the cocktail party, uh, there is a character who prefers to crucifixion as a happy life. So, like this, there is a plot. The play illustrates these things, okay? That you have to depend on your own terms and you have to accept your terms, it offers to you. When you give any applause, you can जे नियम आपल्याला स्वतःच्या आजूबाजूला जे नियम घालून दिलेले आहेत ते नियम आपण स्वीकारायचे आणि त्याच्या पद्धतीने जगायचं हे सांगणार आपल्याला कॉकटेल पार्टी पाहायला मिळतं एंडर स्ट्रेसमस हे काहीच अशा स्वरूपाचं आहे सी सो टी एस एलियट मॉडर्न ड्रामामध्ये पोर्टिंग ड्रामामध्ये एक चांगलं कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन करणारं एक एलियट हे एक नाटककार म्हणून आपल्याला नाव पाहायला मिळतं पुढचे आहे डब्ल्यू एच ऑडेन आणि क्रिस्टोफ इशरोर इफ यू थिंक अबाउट दिस टू ड्रामॅटिस्ट बोथ ऑफ देम आर फेमस ॲज अ ड्रामॅटिस्ट पोर्टिक ड्रामॅटिस्ट दे वेर इम्प्रेस्ड बाय टी एस एन एट सो ऑडेन अँड क्रिस्टोफ इशरोर बोथ ऑफ देम कोलॅबरेटेड अँड बोथ ऑफ देम रोड द डॉग बिनिट द स्किन the ascent of f6 on the frontier so these uh, dramas also proved uh, very much famous um, the ascent of f6 it is a kind of a mythical atmosphere it notes the conscious and creation of myth uh, from the present contemporary uh, so called world around them so these dramatists have raised some of the social issues uh, to the mythological level and they brought some kind of a neo classical type of a, a background and style to write such a type of a dramas the dog beneath the skin it's a symbolical so called poetic drama there is symbolic imagery that has been used characterization are also symbolical stage is also symbolical the scenes the background is also symbolical and like this um, it's a kind of a picturesque or photographic presentation of the uh, plot in the dog beneath the skin so uh, like this we have these two dramas see another example that is stephen spender Stephen Spender is most a uh, renowned communist playwright of the modern political plays he is from his viewpoint is leftist in his poetic play the trial of a judge it's um, one of the front communist the theme is a powerful representation of fate not communist the theme is of course in the hands of uh, hitler's nazism and the frustrating conditions throughout uh, germany and europe all these things are um, studied and presented by stephen spender in the drama the trail of judge next is scene of cassie his early play, play show of gunman see juno and peacock flow and the stars both of them are having thin uh, themes of uh, thrill in in the poetic drama see during this period it was a period of second world war and there is remarkable progress that has been made 
in the potent trauma. So, these themes are related to common dwellers and their heroism. So, we have these dramas. The Black Mountain, the old man of the mountain, it has a biblical type of setting and the story of uh, Eliza and Ahab in the character. We have seen, we have Christopher Fry is also one of the modern poetic dramatists. He is the only metaphysical verse dramatist who introduced the theme of philosophy. So, so Christopher um, Fry brought the, what is most needed is some kind of a tragic and religious themes. Lady is not for burning. It deals with the witchcraft sacrifices she makes in her life uh, for the young man. And she at the end tries to convince him. She was convicted for the witchcraft. Both of them were convicted. But out of both, one has to die. So the girl who doesn't uh, see doesn't accept the young man's sacrifice. So she tries to persuade him that she will she will kill herself. She will immolate Swatala Zarun Tharkarne. And Imarun, Ti Sangteka Maja Sati tu Swatala Zarun Thar Karo Nukos tu Magera. Okay. See. See, and in we have seen she sacrifices herself the lady who I in such a kind of a condition was supposed to have turned into a dog the lady is pardoned okay there is a dog it was said that lady has turned into a dog it's a mythical so the pardon was given to her so there was, although it's loose in its construction, but Fry had written a very good play. It's 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 a kind of an achievement to the poetry drama because he has applied to the mythical and philosophical background to the poetic drama, and that is what his contribution is remarkable in this context. We have W. B. Yeats. W. B. Yeats has also written um, few Kuchlin poem po plays to uh, to the English theatre is an Irish playwright who brought these uh, two say realms of study realms of writing to a particular height so without WBS and without T.S. Eliot we cannot think of modern age till 1950s so poetic drama in the 19th century or in the middle of the 20th century uh, we have seen this genre has dominated the the english stage now the world is set for some of the later tendencies that comes up after the uh, world war second 1960s because we have new generations and new reactions coming up and all these reactions that we see in the dramas with these words i thank you yeah thank you